right now to this young man's eyes. Amen. Okay. Focus with me. Lay hands on it with me. And we do thank you to touch this man's sight. I went blind in my eye for three weeks. Recently, after I had prayed for this man for the first time, I went totally blind in my eye. And so, you know, I, I realized that this is a task uh, for the body of Christ, not an, an individual. And, and so, um, I believe that God wants a, a divine healing that will come down and restore his sight. Because my blind eye recovered into a complete recovery and, I, and the doctors didn't know if my sight was going to recover. That's what they told me. I'm going, oh, I'm dying and I just went blind in my right eye. You know, and, and so, you know, I, I do believe in divine healing. And I do believe that the Lord has a, you know, it says you have not because you ask not. And, and so I do believe that God wants to touch his eyes. And... And uh, I do believe that there are prophetic words in the meeting tonight. So we want to come in harmony with God's will and pray for us. Touch his eyes. We ask for divine healing in the eyes. And, and I do ask for Mark's ministry that he will have kingdom endurance and that God will bless what he does and that God will bless your marriage and your children. And I ask that the supernatural anointing of God will come upon Eileen in Brazil. And the waves of the Holy Spirit have been resting on her. Why don't you lift up your head, Eileen? And just close your eyes and don't look around. Don't think about yourself, you know. And I, I call it the blessing of the Holy Spirit on you. So lift up your head. Don't do anything. Just lift up your head. That's my. Right. I ask the blessing of the Holy Spirit to come upon you, I mean. Yes. Yes. The, the, that time of sorrow is over. You just come in to the victory side of your love. A type of an obedience to God. And the Lord's going to use you in a mighty way. You can do it to change and take place for the year. Yeah. Let's pray for your uh, team to. Spain. And because, Lord, we're a missionary group and the Olympics are going to be taking place in Spain, our sister's going to be taking the team there. We thank you, Lord, that we can take a little woman and lead a whole team to where the world is going to be focusing. And we pray such a mighty anointing of God on you that your tenacity will come out for God. And, and that uh, you will find a, a self, uh, uh, and you'll find a place of losing yourself like you never have. And, and that, uh, that you will um, embrace the cross with the glory following. But you see, there's, some, there's only one answer for the saints when we're in this stage, and that's the cross. Jesus Christ. It's not preached in the churches. Oh no. Then people wouldn't come and get out. And so we we do um, ask that the Lord will put the cup to our head. We ask that the Lord will allow the cross to come to us. And that we won't shy away as the Lord extends the suffering of Christ in the earth. It says in Romans that, that when the, when the a, a suffering is chosen, it is uh, so that the suffering of Christ is extended in the earth, even though he is at the right hand of God. There are so many mysteries yet to understand, but there's a precious move of God here, and I hope the best for all of you I hope the best for your ministry, for your revelation level, for your appointed meal with the saints, and that when you have the communion of God, that God is going to put a 24-7 fellowship in your hearts, and, and that you, He will abide with you when you wake up in the morning, and He'll abide with you 
while you go to work, and you'll be able to adapt a fellowship of prayer during the day, and that God will be developing intercessors out of this group of people. And, and you know, there's just different orders that, are, that the Lord is establishing and ordaining. And now's the time to recognize His hand of uh, anointing on it. And I just love you guys so much. I love your youth. I love your, um, your fresh vision in God. And I pray that there comes such an impartation um, uh, like the, uh, the impartation of Moses to the 70, that, you know, that's been my message to you, and I, I hope that God will take the, some authority that's been placed upon my life that I couldn't handle, and that the Lord will distribute authority on you and giftedness, and, um, and so, um, would you, would you come and let me pray for you right now? Amen. <coughs> And then let's just stand right there. And I do pray that uh, your your longing for God will be satisfied. And that when it begins to be satisfied, that you'll know with a contentment. And I pray that God will bring a godly contentment on you as He begins to answer your need, your your overwhelming need for God to meet you and to and to speak with you and, and to give you Rama. And for you to be able to impart it to other people. And, and I, I, I do pray that His touch will be satisfying to you because we don't want there to be a void. And I pray the same thing for David I, as, as, as you um, know that I love you very much as a friend. And I pray the blessing of God on your life and, and upon your ministry. And I willingly do that because I care. I know that there's a lot of valuable things in this man, and I, I recognize him. And, and also with uh, Martin, I just uh, love the work that he's been involved in with that. And, and I also bless Gigi. Yeah, and I want Gigi to come right into the middle of the circle here and uh, stand right here, Gigi. And, you know, all the saints of God that are here, we just... Gigi works with Dying Aid Commission. She uh, is working in Seattle. Come on forward here. This is a very draining work. It, it emotionally um, takes its toll really in, in the end because she, as she gives, it, it takes an awful lot. Of so we pray that she will be, uh, have that well of living water from within her like a spring of what well of living water, gushing forth ponds of living water. And Jesus has been one of the most important people to me. And um, so Gigi has come down to share with our fellowship that we have in the short time that we have to be together. And so uh, the Holy Spirit's giving her revelation right now. And the Holy Spirit's breaking her heart. I feel the power of the Holy Spirit on me. And uh, that the Lord renew and joy. And the Lord keeping responsibility to everybody. Please get it. I will. So I will. I will. Okay. Show me what to do. Show me what you want. I'll do it. If I can. If it's in my power. In one of the keys. Being able to be in union with God's people. I'm not playing a game. Be very sincere, very real. Hallelujah. You let all that shall be healing in this woman's hands. And she reaches out like Mother Teresa, Teresa that she will have healing in her hands for the dying. Compassion for, pe for people that nobody else wants to show love to in the world. This is a calling, this is a mission. The Lord's placed it on her line. And she'll say, oh God, how much more are you going to require of me? And he says, you know, I, think I won't stop until I get all that I want from you. And so, you know, I'll tell you a little secret. Give up fast. <laughs> <laughs> it's less painful. Because <laughs> there's heel marks a lot of places that God has taken me. And, and there's 
there was confusion what God wanted of me, and I resisted, and I made some big mistakes. And, you know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I really am sorry. And, and so, you know, I pray that God gives you repentance for your sins. That we'll find higher levels of anointing if we stand cleansed in Him. Oh! Even if other people don't think so. Because it's other people's opinions are not important. It's only, so what's only important is God's will and how you're related to Him. Because when you're standing before Him, there's going to be a whole generation of people that will stand before the Lord and say, Then we work miracle in your name. Don't be a fool. We didn't work one miracle. We didn't heal one person. Catherine Kuhlman has nothing to do with these miracles of God. She's with the Lord. But anyway, she was a perfect example of some uh, how the Lord can use the weak vessel. So a little skinny 40, uh, 68 year old woman could uh, move the heart of God like she did. And then I'm assured that the, her mantle has been resting on me. I don't mind to distribute the authority. I don't mind to share the giftedness of God on me. I want to. This is what it's all about right now. If you don't see it, it's your fault that it's passing you over. But I'll tell you, reach out and touch the Lord. Because if you keep, just touch the hem of His garment, He'll give you a level of God that you couldn't bear. It's a free thing. And uh, the Lord has given me a wonderful level. I've never fellowship with God like I have right now. And, and it can be your level to believe me. If that's what you want, if you if you don't want to compromise with this world and you want to serve Jesus, His love will be so precious to you. It will be like no other uh, people that will fellowship the Lord. And it, and it, and it has to be. I take to it because the Lord says too much is given, too much is required. And, and so, you know, there's a glorious move of God on Sarah. There's a glorious move of God on Gigi. Look at this, the people that know Gigi. There's a wonderful thing that's happening to the great world right now. I mean, everybody touch one another right now. Everybody touch one another. And, you know, I'm sure that uh, God broke the hearts of the saints when the apostolic team said in the book of Acts that they did despair for life itself. Because the labor, the labor, uh, it, it's, the labors are few. And my prayer tonight at this Christmas season as we're entering into a new year, I pray to the Lord of the harvest that He will impart the giftedness and the calling the skill and the ability upon the saints so they will be able to go out into the harvest field and not play games, not move around play church, uh -uh. but they will become a very sincere vision upon the missionaries and upon the team that will go out and represent something different than just local church authority, but apostolic teams where the gifts of miracles are really operating and they're not just having two fit gifts of late length. Which they exposed on prime time last week as a gimmick. And I've been telling you guys all along the way that late lengthening is gimmicky. And there it was on prime time TV showing them lengthening legs and just pulling on the and yanking on the leg and pulling it out and gimmicky and they explained it as, as it's been, been used by Carney Act for years. And so there it's exposed. But I was saying that for a long, long time, wasn't I, Dennis? Yeah. Let's get away from this gimmicky <coughs> and let me move in real miracles. Yes, and, and I don't want um, chump change for God. Yes, God. I want the real thing, else I don't want to move in any of it. And I will 
expose that which I feel to be fraudulent to the body of Christ, and I have. And that's one of the reasons why the Lord is using me as a mouthpiece, because he knows that I would say what he tells me. Yes. Because I didn't have enough smart not to. <laughs> and so I, I, I'm glad that some of you are in this meeting so that the Lord will begin to lift up your level, lift up your confidence. I, I speak confidence into each one of you. And I, I want to thank you right now, come in real quick. <clears throat> and Lord, there's always been a real special anointing on me for children. And I bless this young man right there. And, and not, even though he might not understand what's going on around him, I could lay hands on him and bless the heritage of God on his life. And that he won't have a difficult time in rebellion to walk with you. I pray that you spare him a lot of pain. I pray that he will just have a natural hunger for God and he will have a natural obedience to what you tell him to do. We pray that he'll take the struggle out of some of it, but not all of it. I bless his Father. And we thank you for this time. We thank you for this time of blessing. I bless everyone in this room. Let it continue on in the evening. Let it continue on in the secret place where only you, Lord, and take away that terrible loneliness that afflicts men and women. Oh God, help us to find a place where we have a contentment in godliness. Oh Lord, we, I pray that for this man right now. In Jesus' name, I pray that God will begin to deal with all of our dysfunction and that the Lord will be able to present it on that day every whip fall in the inner man. God does not want to receive you into paradise and that he's fixing you. And you got to let the Lord fix you. And even though that it might be painful in the process of it, let him do it. Let him have his way with you. He is your husband. We are the bride of Christ. Let him have his way. Let him teach you about love. Let him teach you about stimulating you in the Holy Ghost to take it to the stars because there's nobody that can do it like the Lord. There's not a woman that can satisfy a man. There's not a man that can satisfy a woman the way that God can satisfy his bride and that the way that he can bring a godly contentment everyone that reaches out and touches by faith what he has for us in this room tonight. Praise God. I see Spain. I prophesy over your team. I prophesy that level of the anointing of God that when you go to Spain that you will believe God for miracles and your team will reach out and be unique in itself for what you know and what you're going to do and what you're going to execute and what is in the will of God. And I prophesy the supernatural, and I prophesy the authority of a man on you. And you will make wise decisions and follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. Now, yeah, okay. I know it's all inside of me, the temple of the Holy Spirit, so we pray that more of the Holy Ghost to come upon him and surround him more the atmosphere, Lord, in Jesus' charge. I pray that people would look upon him and see Jesus. And I pray that those who would accuse him of the Lord, they would see his face as though it was the face of the ministry. Lord God, it's a supernatural, you put your hedges out, and Lord God, seal up any breaches in the wall, Lord, I pray, Lord, you just, Lord, put an umbrella on the head, that, Lord, it would not be broken. 
I pray, Father, that you will look up through and see Jesus covering him in the power of the Holy Spirit, who is abiding with him, that ever abiding, and I will never leave you for such a spirit of Almighty God, that rest in such power upon his presence. I pray, Lord God, you open him up into the greater dimension of the old days of the servant of the Lord. I pray, Lord God, you open him up into the greater dimension of the old days of the servant and uh, Lord, I lift up my spirit to Father Jesus. Lord, you use them to uh, dispel the myth that the academics of God will replace God. The academics of God will never replace God. They will never replace God. In Orange County, the academics have become an idol. They will no longer be an idol. The spirit of inspiration will break loose through this man because of you, Lord. Yes, because Lord. you are God, and you alone yes. will share your glory with none other. Yes, thank you. So we lift him up to you tonight, Lord. We pray that your power would be upon him to heal his body right now. Yes. We have been, Lord. We beseech yes, you, Lord. Lord. We beg yes, you, yes, God. God. Yes, 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 God.